Honkai Trash Reel? After a while, boom, Propagation's crisis has ended. The world is once again peaceful, and that trash can who has endured undeserved ordeals has returned to its slumber. Thank you, Nameless. I have like four out of three now. A strange trash bag sits in the bottomless trash can. You notice the seal on the bag. A few fish bones have clipped the mouth of the bag shut. Bam, green smoke! Ooh. God damn it, man. I just want to record. Ah, there's always something. Man, can I get to business here without getting, like, interruptions and all that? Tanamiga. <laughs> Damn. Wait, what? Are you kidding me? But I'm a person, not a trash can. Why not stand with me against Tanawav? What the hell just happened? I want to get out of this creepy place. Wait, where did they come from? Well, we got a lot more than was needed. This guy's just kind of dead over here. <laughs> I don't want to be here. This place creeps me out. Oh my god, he's dead. Is this where the final battle will take place? Not sure how I feel about this. Such a tragic scene. Did I get the picture on that? Nope, the subtitle was gone before I could even do it. God damn it. Send this to my friends, no context. Didn't they say the Garbage King would wait for me here? Have I been set up? What? <laughs> what the 
hell is going on? <laughs> Thank you for stopping us. What the hell just happened? What? A bummer? I was really looking forward to seeing how our friend was going to overthrow the Garbage King. I like how the whole time Firefly was kind of just probably... I think the moment she saw trash people, she probably just like stood there in shock for the whole time we talked to them until the very end. It's easy. I finished him off with one punch. What a huge pity. Such a meaningful dream came to an abrupt halt because of Miss Firefly. I was looking forward to seeing your face when the truth dawned on you. What are you trying to say? Trying to say? I'm not saying anything. I just want to reveal the truth. Don't you want to find out the truth behind the dream? Don't let all that pretty scenery in the dream world distract you from your goal. As soon as you get complacent, you lose sight of the truth. Don't you think this dream bubble looks really similar to modern day Pemiconi? A small huh? stage is crowded with a bunch of scheming people. None of them want to be exposed under the spotlight, so they all push you to the front. You're not at home anymore, kid. You've wandered into the depths of the unknown. Let me put it to you straight. Don't let yourself get enticed by that glowing light. I'm going to be very disappointed if you get bamboozled by the likes of them. Glowing light. Is that girl still here? She what happened to Firefly? To local, but doesn't know how this world works. All she's got is street smarts. Who exactly is she? You don't find her the least bit suspicious. I mean, she most definitely is. I'm sure she's not from here. You better hurry up and confront her if you have any questions. Don't let her off scot free. <laughs> See you around, pal. Don't let me down. What did Sampo mean? Is Firefly hiding something? I must find her and demand an explanation from her. She shouldn't be too far off. <laughs> the girl turns her body sideways, gazing into the distance, as if evading your gaze. After a momentary pause, she finally turns back and softly speaks. I'm sorry. You feel guilty, don't you? Yes. There are things... I'm hiding from you. I'm not a local. And there's a reason why the Bloodhound family is after me. I also have my own purpose for joining you on your journey. But still, I appreciate your help. I mean it from the bottom of my heart. And, and my admiration for the Nameless is also genuine. You guys have been to a lot of worlds, met people from all walks of life, and experienced all sorts of things. Every day is a new beginning for you guys. You can board the Astral Express too. Can I bring you one more place? It isn't another tourist attraction. It's my very own secret base. Oh no. This is about to get... Oh no, this is about to get sad, isn't it? I'll do my best to tell you everything I know when we get there. Sure, I believe you. Thanks. Oh god. Oh god. What is this? Here's Custer, thank you for experiencing it. Uh, hope you had an enjoyable time. Sure, too, whatever. Thank you for your feedback. Wish you a pleasant time in Dreamland. What special content? Family friendly stuff? Oh, 
Okay. Let's go this way. Huh? Is something What the heck? Oh my, what in the Mickey Mouse? Someone's dying! Please, come here! You gotta be- What is going on? Someone is dying! Please help! Wait! Can you see me? Is there a problem? <laughs> it's inconsequential. That is the second time I've ever seen that. I can see a clock with limbs. Can you- Introduce myself. My name is Clocky. I'm a famous celebrity in Panacone. My friends and I keep the peace in this small town. They are Hanu, Mr. Soda, Origami Bird, Hamster Ball Knight, and Misha. Misha is in trouble. Tick tock. Help! Help! Clocky, how can I help? Clocky? Do you mean? You saw a cartoon character that doesn't exist in real life. Can't you see him? Um... Where is he? I, I can't see him. Tick-tock! I guess I'm only visible to those with the innocence, kindness, and honesty of a child. Like this kid here clad in gray! He said... You... Oh, He said only children can see him. Um, but I think you look older than me in terms of appearance. Tick tock, tick tock, my great friend. Since you can see me, then you must be able to help me. My friend Misha is in trouble. I'm begging you to help him before it's too late. He says someone's life is in danger. Is it really that bad? Well, are you gonna help this some? Um... Clocky, that only you can see? See, the thing is here, Clocky's saying innocent, kind, and honest. I think that Firefly is at least kind, but we're about to find out uh, about the innocence, and of course we know she's holding something from us, so... I don't know, you're just... I don't know. Huh? I don't think you're lying. As anything can happen in a dream. We can just head to the place I mentioned later. Tick tock, tick tock. Hurry up and follow me, great friend. Misha's in trouble. He's over there. Let me bring you to him. The name of Misha rings a bell to me. Anyway, better check out what's going on. Come on, jump, jump. Who was fast at the hamster ball night? What the hell is happening? There. Oh, there's Looks that Acreon. going on do I even want to be here you know what I have to do I got better things to do than mess with clocky right now we'll deal with clocky later man that thing with firefly she wants to take us to her secret base you know when someone says oh come to my secret base it's the place that only you and I will know and then I'll probably die and you'll come back here and uh, don't do it. Oh, all the helpers have returned. Now the plaza will be fixed in no time, Chirp. I'm never a Scrooge. Chirp, take this gift with you as well. Adorable. God. Oh, these people today. Oh, no more interruptions today. Anyway, that's done with. We got all the birds. So now what we need to do is go find Mr. Blue. Oh, well, look at that. Don't you have anything to say? I, I'm not sure what to say. I, um, I'm not used to attending this kind of occasion. 
Occasion? What occasion? Isn't it just a common open-air party in Panacone? <sighs> uh, please, don't get upset. I I'll try my best to blend in. Uh, please, give me some time. Alright, I shouldn't be rushing you. But I hope it won't take you too long. I don't want the other glasses to start gossiping about me, saying that I'm with a dull bottle every day. Uh, no, I'm not dull at all. I promise, I'll get better starting from the next second. You notice the rim of the crystal chalice is slightly tilted, following the angle of in inclination. You catch sight of several bottles of premium red wine on the table in the distance. That's not a positive sign. Perhaps it's time for you to go and pretend you have never been there. Oh, what? Oh, no! Bro, you have got to be kidding me. What the fuck? We're really gonna be seeing a fucking bottle getting cucked. Well then, I will have nothing to do with Crystal Chalice then. It's getting late. Time passed in silence when the birds stare at each other. I met the other birdies. Oh, you want me to find all of them. Which means we'll come back to Dr. Blue when Penacone is over. So, uh, a couple months? Almost a year? It's getting late. Where to now? Oh, do we have to... No, I'm sure we just start from following him. I dare There's a crowd over there. What's going on? Broke the rules, and now you're gonna have to pay the price. Punish you, Punish you, Punish you. Punish you. <sighs> How did it come to this? Is that Acreon? Uh, do you know her? See, I wasn't blind. Misha really is in trouble. Hang on. <laughs> Did she just look down at Clocky? TikTok, I'm begging you, my brave friend, begging you. Please help Misha. Uh, wait, no, seriously, did she look down at Clocky? I thought she couldn't see him. What should I do to help? Wait, wait are you talking to Clocky? No, it does look like things are getting out of control. TikTok, TikTok. It's all Stone's fault that things have turned out this way. Of all the lowlifes in Dreamville, Stone's the worst. He's a greedy man who wants to drive everyone out of Dreamville so that he can have all the precious stones to himself. Clocky, Mickey, black and red. What are you... <laughs> he instructed his underlings Dreamville, this place feels like Disney. Taking away everyone's positive emotions. Since then, the town has been filled with anxiety and disputes. We're no longer a family. As the guardian of Dreamville, I can't just sit back and do nothing. By using the power of clockwork, I can direct the flow of positive emotions in the dreamscape back into people's hearts. That way, everyone can patch up their differences and get along again! My great friend, I require your assistance. I have a feeling you'll be able to master the power of clockwork. After all, you're the special one who can see me. Also, you're a new visitor to this world, which means we have the element of surprise. If you take action now, we can catch him off guard. Whoever this guy's voice actor is, he's got talent. Are you sure about oh, this? It'll be fine. I'm just demonstrating how it works. Please, close your eyes. Tick tock. Now, our minds have merged into one. Can you feel an energy surging through your body? All we have to do is use clockwork on that cranky gangster boss and inject good emotions into him. Then we'll have won. 
please bear in mind that you should never use clockwork with malicious intent. We're the guardians of Dreamville, after all. Tick tock! The two of you are too busy to chat. Use your clockwork and solve your pressing issues first. Mind your own business, lass. I have to let that lady there know she's messed with the wrong person. Here comes the clockwork. I saw a dial and got it moving. Great! It means you've mastered the art of clockwork. <laughs> What's wrong with the boss? What's wrong with the boss? Oh, he's crying so hard. Even I, the guardian of Dreamville, am nearly moved to tears. <laughs> oh dear me, <laughs> Oh my god. Uh <laughs> Girl, quit the waterworks, you're a big boy now. I I thought about my mother on my home planet. I wonder what Kalos' options are there. What do we do now? What do we do now? Whoa! Things are turning into a mess! But then again, maybe now is a good chance to ask them to leave? I'm sure that sweetie option had to be a, a, a stealth option only. I'm sure probably the Kalos version is, what's going on, bud? How about you get some alone time somewhere? You're right. <laughs> Gang, you're dismissed. I need to be, I need to be alone for a while. Yes, boss. <sighs> we meet again. Are you the one who helped settle everything down here? Oh no, I sure do just wonder. Misha, are you acquainted with this great friend of mine? She's an esteemed guest whom I befriended recently. I told you about her before. Does it ring a bell? Oh, it's her! Anyway, thanks a lot. If you hadn't gotten here in time, whew. I would have been in a real mess. <sighs> Thank you. I'm surprised we get to see each other again so soon. No need to thank me. It's the least I can do. About all the commotion just now? I heard a bunch of masked fools were causing a ruckus on the streets. I happened to be passing through, got stopped for questioning, and there were some misunderstandings along the way. Anyway, I owe you another one. Is this lady... Uh, your friend, too? Well, we've only met each other once before. But she is a kind soul for helping me at the hotel. It's my pleasure to meet you, beautiful lady. B beautiful lady? By the way, what did you do to that man earlier? It was like someone took him on an emotional roller coaster. I was wondering about that, too. What happened back there, exactly? Clocky taught me some clockwork. Right. It was me, Clocky. Of course, you played a big part too. Without you doing the clockwork, Dreamville would have been in some real trouble. Clocky. Yes, that cartoon character. I think he's shown up in reality. I mean, in the dreamscape. I don't really know how a cartoon character could show up around here, but according to our friend here. Only honest people with childlike innocence can see him. <sighs> it seems like I'm too old to qualify for that. If Clocky really exists, that can explain a lot of things. Huh. Can you see me too? I can feel the presence of something inexplicable next to you. But it's a shame that I can't communicate with him like you can. 
We can both perceive these extraordinary things in the dream, probably due to our ability to react to memoria. But you're more attuned to it than I am. I thought your heightened perception was caused by something the elegant memo keeper might have left in your mind. Now it seems to me there are many more special beings like her in this dream. You know, here's think about it. If we were alongside Kafka for a time, like, we had to have done something bad in the past. So, is getting the, our memory wiped and the Stellaron being put inside of us, which Stellaron is the destruction of worlds, something's not right here. Because... Oh, if you just lose your memory, kind of like how we were seeing with stuff on the Wafu, just because you reincarnate doesn't mean that your sins are just forgotten. Like, it just because... Yeah, for example, say the president drops a nuke and just kills an entire country. Just because... And it wasn't in anything good. He just outright wanted to murder. Just because he gets amnesia the next day, you, he would be free of his sins? No. No, he wouldn't. So, what if we're seeing Kwaki? What if this is all a lot? What if, someone's got to be messing with our heads or something. Something just... I don't know if Kwaki has to really do with innocence. But then again, that's just a theory. A game theory. Anyway, that elegant memo keeper? Shortly after we parted ways, I felt someone's spying eyes on me. I looked in the mirror and spotted a lady wearing a black veil. We had a deep conversation, but I won't bore you with the details. Some people are saying that the red dialogue is actually random, that you may or may not get this line. Like, if I turn the game off, come back, apparently she'll say something different. It's a shame that I forgot to ask her for her name. I only know that she's from the Garden of Recollection. Garden of Recollection? <gasps> Is that the group that serves the Eon of Remembrance? Exactly. They traverse freely between different worlds as mimetic entities and are only visible to certain people. Doesn't she sound very much like that Flocky you saw? After all, it is a grand event held by the family. The guest list could be a lot longer than we imagined. Once again, thank you for being kind to me. I wish you a great time in the dream, and I shall not interrupt your... date? No, we're not on a date. Damn, I should have been playing as the male trailblazer. <laughs> She's gone. Well, shall we? I'll let you get back to your beeswax. Thanks, my great friend. I really appreciate your help. The Nameless are indeed a bunch of talented people. May our paths cross again. May our paths cross again. Tick tock. Man, if Please this was... I hope that hmm. you won't be distracted by some invisible friend again. Huh. Bro, freaking imagine we're gonna be... Go oh, we got a whole new side mission to do with this stuff now? A whole side mission of doing that. You know, my question is, is, um, I don't think I have a question. Actually, no. What I can say is I find it funny that they tease that we're having a date when you go into freaking, um, a damn! He's dead. But you know how Genshin, everyone's always like, oh, ship this, ship that. Well, you don't have a single ship in there that's really like, yeah, this one is true, that like, they actually tease that here with Firefly. Tick tock, here we are again, my great friend! I very run into people who can see me, so I must make use of this opportunity to tell you all the wonders about Dreamville! See that statue in front of you? Tell you what! It is made based on me, Kawaki! God, I'm never gonna be able to say his name without doing a voice crack, am I? I can tell, I'm not blind, you know. Tick tock, tick tock! There are more secrets about this statue. Next, I'm going to show you things I will reveal to my friends. You do occasionally receive a golden banknote with my face on it during your journey in the dreamscape. I do. 
That's right! I knew you would be a good observer! Here comes the crucial part, so listen closely! Many have no idea that those golden banknotes can be used to replenish my dream energy! By handing those golden banknotes, let's call it co-op credits, to the statue, I'll become more famous and influential in Dreamville! The more energy that this statue requires from co-op credits, the sooner everyone in Dreamville can see me! When the time comes, I'll be able to hang out with you and your buddies! I get it, you're just hungry for the money. Tick tock, my great friend! Please retract that statement! For your information, you can't use claw credits to buy stuff at regular stores in Dreamville. You might even get yourself targeted by pickpockets if you try using them. So you might as well let me have them. As long as you can produce my dream energy, I'll give you awesome gifts. Tick tock, that's all I want to say. Remember to explore the Dreamville as much as you can, earn claw credits, and take them to my statue. See you, my great friend! Ugh. Oh god, I was gonna... You know what? Of course they would have the whole statue thing again. Well... Huh? Bro, I only got it up to... I only got it up to four after doing everything in this area? You're kidding me. Wow.